Well, 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 look who came back for a little bit more. Today we're gonna to be making pup cakes for dogs, or pup cakes, if you will. Not an original idea by any means, and I took like three different recipes, made a Franken recipe, and we're just gonna try something completely new for myself. Made my own recipe, which is kind of a first, but it was a lot of fun. I have two guests here today. Of course, we have Tony the Bones, and then shout out to Eric for the deity Brea herself. Interesting fact, Freya is the goddess of love and war, and you honor her with honey, and her recipe today has honey, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, so let's get started. Let's make some pup cakes. Okay, so what we're gonna do, it's gonna be nice and easy, because uh, who has the time to do something as incorporated as we did last time? No one. Well, we're in quarantine, so kind of. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix all dry ingredients, all wet ingredients. I will list everything I do below, so we got some regular flour, we got some old fashioned rolled oats, baking powder, honey, this is just vegetable oil, peanut butter I've melted down so it's easier, one egg and then two bananas. I had these in the freezer as you can tell, either that or we found them under the couch because they're looking greasy, but when I have them in the freezer, I don't pull them out ahead of time, I just microwave them for about a minute and a half so I can get them out of the peel, so let's put it together. We're gonna go ahead, add everything in. I did cross check everything with the American Kennel Club. I just checked their website. I'm not that high class, I can just call someone up. But everything that's in this recipe is gonna be A-okay for your best friends and your dogs. Classy. It's like a cocoon. Oh my gosh. It's a bacoon. Ah! Oh. <laughs> that looked a little different. <laughs> that looked like something that came out of a raccoon. <laughs> Here's the thing though, if you freeze your bananas. Oh, this is so not for YouTube. <laughs> it gives them so much more flavor. <laughs> Shut up, Tony. <laughs> Tony the bones. We're just gonna give her a good old mix in. Here's the thing, since this is a recipe I've never done before, I'm gonna have to just alter it as we go. So lucky you, you'll get the whole thing in the description box because I'm just eyeballing it. I'm gonna put honey in there. I don't know how much, some amount, squeeze or two. Let's, let's just do it, let's go for it. So, I don't have the oil in there yet, but for her sweetener, we don't want to give dogs sugar, obviously. So we're just gonna go and that's it. Hmm. This is very informational. I hope you're learning a lot. All the dogs in the world are barking. Who in a mouth though? Oil. Sounded like blues clues. Fitting. Fitting. Oh. Who's your favorite fictional dog? There's a lot to choose from. I, okay, I really loved the dogs on Oliver and Company, the Dobermans. I felt bad for them. They were the bad guys, but they didn't have a choice. They had a bad owner. So, shout out to the Dobermans. <laughs> what about you, Kai? Oh, it's hard to choose. You got your Scooby, you got mm. Old Yeller. Oh, no. You have all the dogs from Oliver and Company. Um, did you know that Goofy is not a dog? He's a cow? No. Google it. Mm, are you sure? That's what, what someone told me. What cow All of them. <laughs> oh. We're in a scooper and duper. All right, so I have no idea how much it's gonna make. I'm estimating about six. What I do is I like to do the center if I'm not doing a full pan. I don't have a six cupcake cupcake pan, so we make do, you know? There you do. You gotta do what you do. Gotta yeah, do it. So this, oh shoot, they're gonna be full. Those are heavy. They are laden with something. Ooh. And a whoop. Okay, we might get like a good tent. Mm. I fill my cupcakes up pretty high. You're supposed to do like two thirds, but let's be real. These we didn't beat a lot of air into. There was no electric mixer at all. We're just gonna, just 
gonna see what happens. Kai, do you wanna lick the spoon? You know it. Great. We're gonna keep it at six. We have two pepperonis we're gonna see, so they'll each get three. What I'm gonna do is I have the oven preheated to 350 already. We're gonna slide those bad boys in for a good 15 minutes and we'll check her out then. Um, and then as always, I'm gonna annoy the neighbors. <laughs> you can't have a cupcake without some frosting. But obviously we don't want to use a lot of sugar and I just found out that vanilla extract has a high alcohol content, which is bad for dogs, so don't do that. So we're gonna keep it easy. We're just gonna do one frozen banana peeled off screen. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna do some peanut butter. Again, no rhyme or reason. You could use cream cheese if you wanted. Um, we don't have any. So we're just, we're making do, you know? I could make a special trip, but I don't know if you like it. All right, let's give her a whirl. Hey girl, come here, Rosie. <laughs> Ew. Freya would not talk like that. She'd be like, <laughs> get lost, you're dead to me. <sighs> Disclaimer, that wasn't enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double everything. So we have another banana in there. I'd say about four heaping tablespoons, so approximately a fourth of a cup of peanut butter, creamy. I'm not gonna get in the creamy and crunchy fight, but for this recipe, I'm using creamy. Nice and creamy. It's not gonna be as stiff as a buttercream, but you know, she, she holds her own. Nice little lunch lady plop there. I'm gonna stick it in the fridge because our cupcakes just got done. We're gonna have to let them cool. And then since it's banana, it could brown pretty easy. So I'm gonna keep it chilled. What? Stop it! <laughs> if you think this shot is cool, wait till she opens the freezer. <laughs> this is the part where Bill and I, the science guy, becomes very happy. I never knew the difference between baking soda and baking powder, and I'm really curious about it. So I looked it up. Basically, they're both the same thing. They're sodium, that makes sense. This one, this baking soda, doesn't have any acidity combined in the powder itself, so you have to activate it with an acid. So whether vinegar, lemon juice, whatever you have in your kitchen. Baking powder over here has acidity added in, so you just need liquid to be added. So we're gonna try it with water. I'm curious to see how this works. Both are used for the same thing. They help your cakes rise, and that's what we're gonna see by a bubbly reaction. I have no idea if this is gonna work. I'm literally making up everything we're doing as we go. So I have some undeterminable amount of powder here. I wanna see if it bubbles right away. What are you adding to it? This is just water. So it is fizzing with just water. So this reaction here where it gets all the air bubbles is what helps your cake rise. So over here, adding more just water. This is the baking soda. Okay, see that? Nothing yet, so we're gonna add some vinegar. Whoa! Sorry, <laughs> I love science. Okay, so now you know. If you're making a recipe from scratch and you're using baking soda, use some lemon juice or some vinegar and get that cool ass action. I'm pumped. All right, big hosses, I put these back in for 10 more minutes. They're a little more oily than I'd like, so I would recommend cutting the oil in half next time. That's what I'm gonna do, and so when you make them, if you choose to for your pets, just go ahead and knock that down. So, instead of using a piping bag, this, since it's literally just peanut butter and banana, is pretty, pretty soupy, so we're just gonna leave it like that. I'm just gonna top it, like so. And I will do that for the rest of the cupcakes and that's just to make them look a little cuter and also a little more flavor. And that's it, they're super easy actually. Um, I'll make some modifications and I'll post it down below but for making up a recipe on the fly, 
I'm gonna give myself one bow out of two wows. That's not too bad. But I'm gonna stick these in the freezer until we hear back on when the best time to give them to our little puppy pals is. Um, obviously, if it's a smaller dog, I'd rather do a mini cupcake version of this, but I don't have mini cupcake, cupcake tins. Cupcake tins, mini cupcake tins. It's not a hard word, just have to slow down. I get very excited, as you saw with the baking soda and powder. So we're gonna stick these in the freezer and we'll deliver them to our puppy pals and it's gonna be a good time. So thanks for watching. Tony says thanks, Freya says thanks. Kai, what do you say? Spanks. <laughs> All right, until next time. Bye, friends.